Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to Let's Play Red Dead Redemption. And uh, we're gonna get right into it with Bonnie's mission. Excuse me, Mr. Marston. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Well, come on, let's go look for him. Uh -oh. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I'm sure it's nothing, but Somebody's I worry about missing. the old That ain't good. Come on, boy! So we're gonna look for Mr. McMar- Yeah, <laughs> Mr. McMarlin. I've got a bad feeling about this. It's not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry, we'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Sorry about the mistake. I mean, it's not a big deal. Don't you have any brothers or sisters, yeah. Miss McFarland? Interrupt me, John. I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I could trust. Damn. Look, I think I see someone. Think? I ain't traveling yeah. this far t for you to think you see somebody. You better see somebody, yeah. bitch. Daddy! What happened? Nothing nice. Rustlers, I guess. Maybe the Baller twins, that bunch. And you head back to the ranch right now and fetch the wagon. Yes, sir. Marston, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. What if Come I don't? On, what you gonna really? do? What could have happened to those poor men? And the horses were dead, too. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Yeah, so... Those damn rustlers! I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize The outlaw it. with the code? How wonderfully romantic. The reluctant murderer, the noble criminal. There's nothing more depressing than a man who's found a way to think the bad into good. You're up. Look, Mr. Marston, the barn is on fire. What the hell? Don't worry, Super Marston to the rescue! Yeah, I gotta save this barn. But gotta be careful because you might fall off and grab onto the damn ledge, man. Get up! Get up! Oh. <laughs> I didn't see that there. Alright, now get up. Wait, I'm doing this for horses. Excuse me, really? Oh! Oh, I gotta open the bar door. Get out of here, horsey! Get it moving. You too. I 
his ass, by the way. Uh oh. There's nobody good looking. Let's go! Yeehaw! So let's put these back in the barn. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You, well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, wh hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. Is it just me, or does she have a thing for me? Hmm, maybe it is just me. Um, hmm, I got time left. Uh, I don't know which one to do. Uh, oh, hmm. Oh, yeah. I could do that. Um, yeah, I'll just, yeah, I'll do that. Let's see, what do I have to do? Oh, by the way, this is how you check your challenges. No, not that. Strangers. Here we go, flowers for a lady. Billy wants to give his wife a bouquet for their anniversary. Wild fever flew glow around Hennigan's stead. Red sage grow near Rio Bravo. Desert sage grow around west near Captive Ridge. Collect three of each. Make a bouquet for Billy and bring them to his cabin later. Okay. Um. I'll do that and um. I. Mm, yeah, I'll do that, and I guess I'll do a fast forward, and I'll play some music for you so you guys don't get bored. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys there, and listen to this song that I'll pick out after I'm done with
Constricts and chokes like ruthless vines. So sleep, she overtakes her. idea how long that took me and uh, so much I went through <sighs> worth it all right we'll give the flowers to this guy on, no stand on ceremony. here's your flowers Billy oh, well thank you not many around these parts that help an old man with such a task thanks again stranger come on in have some tea with me and Annabelle I'm sure she'd love the company. All right. Maybe just for a minute. It's my other half. Lovely Annabelle. <clears throat> Much obliged. This man helped me find these lovely flowers, Annabelle. Not half as lovely as you. <laughs> yeah, no, no. You don't look a day over 30, ma'am. Wait, it's a fine air and the good living up here in New Austin that keeps us so young and full of vigor. Annabelle was mentioning she wants to go up to Blackwater, ride one of those newfangled motor cars, huh? No bumpy old horse carriage for my angel. <laughs> That's a good idea, Billy. I should get going. Well, you haven't had your tea. And, and, and Annabelle baked her special blackbird pie. Yeah, I'm sorry, Billy. I must have forgot. I've got an appointment with Planet Earth. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Farewell, John. Stop by any time. Oh, we play bridge on Thursdays. Yet another strange stranger. That was the creepiest. When I first played through that, I had no idea that was what it was going to be. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to stop right here. I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye-bye.